Robert Mueller apparently has a new mandate. Oh, you're going to love this. The New York Times is reporting that Robert Mueller is now looking at Trump's tweets. Yeah, Trump's tweets. Let me read you something here. I got it on the screen in front of me. But Mueller is apparently, according to the New York Times and other outlets, reviewing Donald Trump's tweets. I want to read you an excerpt here from the New York Times. You just have to find it on my Twitter timeline. But here's what they wrote. <clears throat> Quote, Mr. Mueller will stitch together several episodes and counters and pieces of evidence like the tweets to build a case that the president embarked on a broad effort to interfere with the investigation. Think about that. I'm Robert Mueller. I've got nothing. Got nothing. I've wasted almost 22 to 25 million in taxpayer dollars. I've interviewed hundreds of people. I've strong-armed others. I've destroyed lives. I've taken down careers all to get Donald Trump impeached because he wasn't supposed to win. I got nothing. But I'm going to piece together tweets and emails and phone calls and come up with a case for obstruction of justice of an investigation that was investigating no underlying crime because now we know the FISA warrant was predicated upon the, the junk dossier, which kicked off the whole investigation. Mueller never should have been appointed. This has become the biggest joke in American history. The biggest joke in American history. But now he's looking at tweets. And the claims are incredible. That by Trump saying things like, Comey's a bad FBI director, that's obstruction of justice. By saying things like, I should have picked a different attorney general than Jeff Sessions if he was going to recuse himself. <clears throat> or tweeting, Jeff Sessions should have told me he was going to recuse himself. That's obstruction of justice. Apparently now, having an opinion as president of the United States is obstruction of justice. It is about the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Now, you could say I'm a partisan. I am. But I've got prosecutors, FBI agents, retired and current that I speak to who are saying, okay, this has now gone past anything we can defend. This is now Mueller's probe way past. And we, some of these people hate Trump. They're like, even we as ethical professionals can no longer defend what we see here. There's clearly something else at work here because this ain't about justice. And it is long past time for Donald Trump. He now has the political cover after the FISA warrant and this ridiculous nonsense about looking at tweets. Donald Trump needs to thoroughly clean house at the top of the DOJ. Rosenstein needs to go. Sessions needs to go. Mueller needs to go. Most importantly, America needs to get back to business. We're going to have GDP numbers released today. They could approach, if not exceed 5%. What we're doing to this country, what we're allowing Robert Mueller to do to this country is a tragedy. And it needs to end today. I want to bring you these segments every day, and I'm bringing you the, these segments live every morning, 7.30 a.m. on the Rebel YouTube channel on my new show, Declassified Live. Check it out. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend.